So you got one of the, you know, brothers, you know, in, in the LGBT community, he, he was working at public storage and, you know, he, he was having some issues with, with, with a Karen, um, and they end up, you know, firing him. I want you to watch his exit from the job. Yes. Um, I'm finally being terminated here from public storage. This is the manager that I was telling you all about right here. Um, the one with the racial slurs, uh, the one that's pretty much a uncle Tom, a, a redneck racist that I was telling y'all about, this is her, Jennifer, the one that, you know, was calling me females and things of that nature. The one that was being malicious and spiteful, looking for a reason to terminate me. So congratulations, she finally got it uh, with those curtain threads on it of a dress. You know, the one that used to be talking about my uniform all the time. But stay coming in here dressing like a slip puppy with uh, dresses on. they showing her ass cheeks and all of that other shit or whatever the case may be. Yeah, that's the trick right there, yeah. That's her fully uh, dressed in her slip attire once again. Okay, when I feel like it, exit me. X O I no, that's real. Exit me. Thank you for your services too. Now the brother said that, you know, Karen was over there calling him a female. Well, I mean, you know, bro, you, you know, we, we hearing you, you sound like a whole queen over there. You know, I, I, I know you, you, you probably, uh, you know, could, could walk better in, in everything than what they can. Like, like I said, I, I've never seen, <laughs> I remember speaking about that when I was last time I went to Atlanta, we had a, we was at a restaurant and, they had, you know, one of the LGBT brothers was bringing uh, our food. And, you know, you couldn't help but see him. I mean, this dude was switching harder than the female. And I'm like, shoot, you need to teach a female to switch because you, you, you do it better than them, you know? So, you know, shout out, shout out to the LGBT brothers, you know? I mean, hey, they, they part of the community too. But yeah, if, if, if Karen being, you know, freaking, you know, racist with you, yeah, you got to check that. I, I agree with that hundred percent checker, you know, and one thing about, you know, uh, Queens like that, they miss shoot. You don't want to get in a roast battle with them. They, they, they go roast the hell out of you. That's why she couldn't say anything. And usually she didn't say nothing. She probably knew she, knew she was wrong. She knew she was wrong. Just staring into the camera, looking dumb. <laughs> Saying time I heard her address and all of that. Uh, man, you do better getting out of there and going to do something else, bro. I mean, because we live in a – what's interesting today is that we live in a day and time where people don't mind getting fired or people um, don't mind quitting. Because I remember at one point in time, people get fired. Oh, my God. They had their feelings hurt by getting fired and all that. And now people are like, man, if that job. I don't care about that job. i get another one. Shoot, forget that. Actually, that's a good way to be um, because you don't want to cry with no job. Because some people have cried over jobs and made themselves look silly and giving these folks, you know, the power that they want over you by, um, you know, begging them for the job or whatever. So yeah, 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 yeah. I, that was kind of funny though. It was like Karen, you know, she, I like to see Karen get roasted. Definitely. And she was quiet too, because you know, good well, she said the wrong thing on that camera. She's going to be done for. Yeah. But y'all let me know, you know, about, you know, the brother here, you know, getting fired from public storage.